Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to my channel Xenovision. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can fix this issue with OpenIV where you get a error saying D3D9.dll. So stay tuned. Before we get started, I would like to inform you this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you find any value in this video, please smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. So let's get started. So uh, some of you have uh, uh, gotten this error, uh, which is very annoying. And I'm going to show you a quick and easy fix to this. Um, so yeah. We need to download a file to actually fix this. It's going to be direct direct X. Uh, you can Google it up or you can just uh, go to my Discord. The link will be in the description. Uh, uh, yeah, let's hop over to our Discord right away. Okay, we're currently on our uh, Discord. And as you can see, we do also a lot of giveaways. And we have a support page where you can ask anything you want. And we will help you with it. Um, when you get on Discord, you do need to verify yourself quickly through here. Just verify yourself and then you will uh, be able to see the rest. And we're going to go ho hover over the GTA resources and you will see right here, open IV uh, and then the error fix. Uh, first thing you're going to need is open IV. I assume you already have that and you can't install it. And the second thing, uh, the website is by the way, currently down. Uh, so if you also need open IV, then, um, here will be the file right here. You can just download it directly from here. And the next thing you need is the direct X. So let's click on it. So you will be redirected to this web page right here. And this is going to be the open IV web page officially from the Microsoft page. And all you just need to do is just hit download and it will start downloading the file. After that, you can just open it up and it will install it for you. Um, just like this you just hit accept and you go hover over the next steps and it will install it after after this is installed you can uh, reinstall your open iv or it will work instantly right away again uh, it is that easy and uh, i don't want to keep you guys waiting more for that so it will be fixed after this issue if it didn't fix let us know in the comments uh we'll look at it but uh, i have had this issue and this was the fix for me uh yeah so that's already two minutes and 30 seconds uh if if it's fixed it for you until now then you're good to go if you want to watch a bit more on the uh channel this video i'll keep on informing a bit let's just hover over the support ticket right here it was pretty funny to me um right this one is new so if we look at it and this was actually today if you can see just how long i've been busy with this guy he said, why uh, is not right open IV? I didn't un understand it. And then I told him just download it, then extract and open open IV. Did you install it? It's what I'm trying to do when I click on this. I'm saying, okay, yes. He says, okay, I can't find my Grand Theft Auto when opening, when opening a GTA folder. I'm like, mm, you need to search for the logo and then do open file location, which is really effective uh he still can do it plus his computer is uh, french so it's a bit hard communicating so i keep on telling him i'm keep in mind this is what is this 10 o'clock uh and i tell him what to do he does it and we we don't come out of it like he doesn't fix it in the end i tell him uh, to watch this video on how to find his grand theft auto main directory folder through uh, epic and uh meanwhile we're an hour ahead now and then he says okay but when i click on it uh it doesn't find it so still i didn't understand here he needs to put the location again i tell him just put this location right here and he puts the location and it says error this folder does not contain an encryption key bin file and then he says the same location and now it's becoming crazy and i laugh uh, and now it's running. So he's in here. Uh, he says, bro, I follow your video. After that, uh, I tell him the yellow bar. I say, yes, I do the permission. And, uh, but then he reopens open IV and he gets the same issue as you can see. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm like, hold on, hold on. Did you click on windows? Cause you get, you get the option here. Let me show you. I asked him, did you even click on Windows or what did you click on, you know? 
And he's saying, yes. I'm asking, are you sure? He says, yes. Hmm. Oh, bro, I'm very sorry. Very, very sorry. I'm telling him you're driving me crazy. He says, I didn't see, I didn't look at that. <laughs> he probably hit, hit Xbox or PS4. I don't know what he clicked. And then he says, there are a lot of categories. I'm so stupid. Sorry for my dad and my mom. <laughs> so I laughed my ass off. And uh, yeah, that was that. And we're meanwhile an hour and a 15 minutes, but an hour and a half busy with it, as you can see. So we're helping. Uh, what we ask in return is that you do, uh, that we do look like here, uh, that we, that you do su subscribe. So here. I'm going to check this out right away. Uh, so I uh, see if you just want to get the stuff here. Let's do it. Let's check it out. B 4.1 open IV. So one is when did open IV 4.1 come out? Yeah, April 26. Sounds right. Uh, it's not working. Didn't install, so let's offline version. I'll oh, write this one. Oh, let me download it. Check it out. So let's just do a uh, a scan with Windows. Good. It's working, so it might be good. Okay, yeah, uh, so as you can see, I am helping them, and uh, they can also just download, again, OpenIV right here. Uh, I'm going to test that file quickly. So I extract it, let's write this one. Let's see what it says. I don't know is it, if it's really 4.1, or it might be, a, I don't hope it's a virus, I don't think so. So it doesn't say anywhere that's a 4.1. I'm just going to leave it as this because I know mine is working. Here, we got a verified sub person or not. No, I thought I saw it. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you thought of the video. And uh, yeah, goodbye.